What up, everyone? So, from my last video, you saw that I passed my NCLEX, and I am so happy. It's a natural high. I am truly blessed right now. I, I'm just at all right now. And this video is to do my own, uh, Hearst review. It, I just want to say Hearst review is awesome. Like, I took Kaplan the first time, and they was focusing mostly on questions and the decision tree, and I did not like the decision tree at all because it did not work for me at all. It didn't make any sense, and it did help you think about the question and how to prioritize, but it just wasn't useful to me at all. So, a friend recommended me to use hers, and... After I failed my exam, I was in a funk, as you may have saw in my previous videos. So, I, three days, I just couldn't, I couldn't grasp, like, what happened. I was in shock. I was going through the stages of grief. I was just like, I have spent $200 on this exam. I'm like, this cannot happen. So, after I got through all that, I bounced back that following Monday and started doing Hearst Review. So, I did... One, it had a whole bunch of videos, so this was like a list of the videos that I, they had, and I printed this off so I can keep track on um, what days I want to do what, and they, I did one to three, or one to four videos per day, and then, and that lasted about it took me about three weeks to get through everything. Because some days I was just like, I'm just too tired to keep up this momentum. So I just did one lecture and did the other one another day and then did three to four the next day after those two days. So I did that. And then the following week, I went through everything. I that One week I did one to four, review one to four lectures per day. And... The following, the next three weeks, it was just straight questions. So I did have access to my Kaplan still, and I did not do the trainers or anything. Because Hearst, they have six exams, and there are 125 questions. And sometimes, I do have to say, those 125 questions was hard to do throughout the day. Because it's just like, you have to take the exam, and then you have to review it soon, too. And you want to make sure... You want to carefully read the question and then review all the rationales as well. That's very important. So I did that and I was just like, all right, I did 125 questions through hers. Still had access to Kaplan. So I did 75 questions. Sorry. And I did uh, alternate it. And they also had like additional resources that you can use that. I use so they had like let's see um like infectious control um how to put on PPE um triaging practice immunizations for children they have all these additional resources that you can use and I suggest going through everything like between this even though I was lucky that I, at the time that I was taking hers, they had free printing at my apartment building, and I printed all this out, like, and this was useful. I also bought the student manual, and as you can see, like, I put Ronald RN, and, like, you just need to pass, and goal was to, my goal is still, I'm planning on moving to Portland, Oregon, that's where I'm registered right now. And I'm just waiting for a job to come through. But getting back to this. And I put like no NCLEX formed against me shall prosper on here. Isaiah 54, 17. It's no weapon. But right now for people that just graduated, the weapon is the NCLEX. And you need to know that you can do it. And put you can do this. So I suggest putting like quotes on your um, materials and also like just to help you get through it. Because it's very important to keep your motivation, especially if you failed. I've been there, and it doesn't mean that you're not going to pass. It just means you need to take a step back and reassess what you're doing. 
and also had like some stuff on here too. This was my refresh button after I failed. I was just like hitting it, like, all right, just you need to have a new mindset. Just redo it, refresh, refresh. And <laughs> Jesus take the wheel right here. And I don't know. I I felt good like the weekend before too that I took or well technically last weekend that before I took my exam I wanted to review everything that was a weak area for me. So I reviewed maternity, maternity complications. I reviewed um the pediatric complications and especially the infectious control. I reviewed that too. I even made Study guys, based off Hearst, how they had it set up, I made um, flashcards for myself and did this and highlighted the ones that I knew that I wouldn't be able to remember. So that was really good. I suggest doing that too. Like infectious control is very important. You need to know if a patient comes in with this. What do you need to do to protect yourself and the patient? And that's very important. Um, I, oh, I'm just, I am at all right now. I'm just feel truly blessed. It's, I passed. I'm Ronald Harris, BSN RN. And it's just so great. Like, I'm happy I can share my story with you. I'm happy you followed me through this. But Hearst, getting back to Hearst, Hearst is great. You, I highly suggest it, but the thing that I don't like about hers, or not say, not necessarily don't like, I just wish they had like a question bank. So if you do decide to take hers, I do suggest that you get, use another resource so you can like choose what questions you want to do that day and use the six questions that they have to build endurance. I think that's the best method to do that. Um, I did it. I think that's better to do it that way. Like, use the Hearst reviews to, um, Hearst ex practice exams, sorry. Use the Hearst practice exams to build endurance. But if you know, like, some days it's just like, you just need to, 75 questions minimum, I do suggest. You need to do 75 questions in order to, like, at least get yourself in that mindset. Like, less than that, um, I don't know, you have to do what's best for you, but I think 75 questions was is good. Um, let's see. I, I wrote some stuff down for you guys. I'm just trying to remember. Let's see. Like I said, it's a great content review. It breaks the information down very well, I do have to say. Like, it was like... I was asked, telling one of my friends that if we had Hearst and before we started nursing school or during, especially between winter break or summer break, I would have did way better. Like, it broke stuff down so well. And they use, like, a lot of tips and everything, like, especially with hyper, like, potassium. Just k pick the killer answer. Or, like, um, hyperkalemia and hypermagnesia is you want to think muscles first and also it acts both of those act as a sedative and that helped me so much like they had so many tricks and i was coming up with stuff tricks that i can remember myself as well it's such a good resource i highly suggest hers after graduating and the thing that i would have to suggest focus on your NCLEX first some people can do it if because I know I was stressed out about getting a job, but I think passing the NCLEX is, should be your top priority after graduating, and you should focus on that. That's the thing that's going to determine if you can work in a healthcare setting. That's the thing that's going to determine, like, you progressing, because the limbo state of you not passing and you not being in school honestly sucks. So I do suggest that you... Just take the time to focus and study. Don't work. That exam is important. And you need to give it your all, your time. I prayed, exercised, and studied. And those top three things, you will be successful. Hands down. Um, yeah, buy the student manual. 
and definitely use hers to work on your weak areas. Uh, oh yeah, the weekend before I did, I did use Kaplan to um, focus strictly on pharmacology, especially the calculations. So I know that I was struggling with the calculations. I got really anxious the first time that I took my NCLEX and I was just like, I can't figure this out in my head. Like, normally I'm able to do it in my head, but I got so anxious that I just could not focus. And I just, I, at one point, I was just like, screw it. I just have to put something down to move on. And don't do that. I did 20 questions from pharmacology on Kaplan, and I got like 60%. And I was just like, I'm ready. I got this. The night before my exam, I was like, wasn't anxious. I was just excited to take the exam and I was going over stuff in my head. It was like a whirlwind of information that was like in my head. And I was just like going over everything and I passed. I am happy. I am like the first male, the first male nurse and the first nurse in my immediate family. And it feels great. Like, I am so happy. I am blessed right now. And I just hope that my story helps you all. That's the one thing that I want you want to get want you to get from my YouTube channel. Sorry, I'm like just a little rambling, but I hope this helps you all. And if it's anything that I can do, let me know. And I actually typed up some NCLEX tips when I was like doing practice questions that helped me so let me know if you want it like just let me know your email and I can send it to you as well and I might do a video on that I'm not sure but I just typed out like some tips that helped me with NCLEX and what I was like seeing a pattern of with the questions and just wrote down how I should be thinking and I don't know sometimes just reading something simple about how you should be thinking always helped me. So if that will help you, just send me your email or write your email in the comment section and I can help you out with that. Especially with regular test taking in nursing school. Like that just, that helped me out big time. I was just like, I used Hearst for their strategies, but I also found strategies that helped me. So let me know. But Hearst review is great and I highly suggest it. And but also use a separate resource for the questions. And guys, nurses, we made it. Ah! I'm a nurse. I'm a nurse. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> and I hope you have a blessed weekend. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Like I said, if it's anything I can do to help you, or give you advice or some um, encouragement, I will do it and just keep moving. And yes, this is going to be the end of the video because I don't want it to get too long, but have a great weekend, guys. Have a great Labor Day weekend and God bless.